What's happening, guys? Welcome to another boxing breakdown and prediction show for this weekend's welterweight clash between you know one of the best fighters on the planet right now, and Terence Bud Crawford, as he looks to defend his WBA at uh, WBO welterweight strap against tough Russian challenger David Avanesian this weekend over in Crawford's hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. So let's get into it. Now, Crawford comes into this one as the fairly prohibitive minus 1,600 favourite ahead of this one. Um, Avanesian comes back at anywhere between a plus 700 to plus 900, uh, depending on where your book is at. So, you know, books are obviously expecting this one to be a fairly one-sided result on Saturday. And to be honest... You know, it's hard for me to disagree with that. You know, Avanesian is a solid fighter, no question. You know, he's in and around that uh, top 10 bracket. Transnational have him at number nine. The Ring Magazine have him in at number eight. So he's definitely there or thereabouts in terms of, you know, staking a claim for a potential title shot. But that said, you know, when you're talking about a guy, especially as Terence Crawford is, you know, solid's just not going to cut it at this level. Um, that's not to say David Avanesian has... No shot in this fight, although it's very slim. You know, Terence Crawford is a slow starter in fights. You know, he needs those first couple of rounds to kind of get warmed up, you know, process that data on an opponent, you know, like Floyd Mayweather. Um, and we saw that against Kel Brook. You know, he lost the first couple of rounds, saw it against, you know, me, Machine Kavalowskis as well. He got really wobbled early in that fight, almost went down, probably should have went down in fairness. Uh, Felix Diaz caught him with some good shots early as well. So, if Avanation is going to have any success in this fight at all, you know, it's going to be early. You know, he needs to get on Crawford from the get-go here before Crawford gets into a groove. And if he can do that, potentially, you never know. At 35 years of age, you know, he's averaging just one fight per year over the last couple of years as well. You know, maybe those reflexes are starting to dim on Crawford uh, just a little. But, you know, saying that, I personally just find David Avanesian a bit too one-dimensional to pull off the upset in this one. You know, no question, you know, he's got a solid defense. He's got a great hook game as well. You know, he really punishes opponents in close um, with those big, heavy shots of his. And he absolutely loves that big overhand right slip counter as well. You know, dips down to the side, um, you know, from your jab, shoots in the overhand right. Uh, something he used to great effect against Josh Kelly in their fight early last year. He was using it to tag uh, me and Machine Kavalouskis early in their fight back in 2018 as well. And you definitely don't want to be taking too many of those shots because Avanation will end you in there. You know, he's got a ton of power. Six straight stoppages now heading into this fight as well, you know, proves that. But, you know, while that high pressure style of his may have worked on prospects like, you know, Liam Taylor and Josh Kelly last year over in the UK, you know, when you turn over to season pros like Lamont Peterson, you know, Mean Machine Kavalouskis, as we mentioned, you know, guys who know what they're doing in there, um, they will punish you for being too one-dimensional in fights. And with no disrespect to those guys either, Terence Crawford is by far the best technical boxer Avanesian would have faced up to this point. So I really don't see this fight being competitive at all after the first two or three rounds. You know, after getting tagged a few times early in this fight against Avanesian with some big shots, you know, Kavalowskis, who, who's a, still a very underrated fighter. You know, he's only lost to the top guys. Um, and kind of very similar to what I expect Aaron's Crawford to do this weekend as well. You know, he started to time Avanesian coming in. He was covering up against that jab overhand right combination, which we mentioned earlier. And the fight was pretty much over from that point. You know, absolutely started wrecking Avanesian inside with some huge hooks, eventually closing the show in the sixth round. So... You know, maybe you take a small pizza money shot with Avanesian to win this one early. The rounds one to three prop is going off at 66 to one right now. You know, probably worth a, a coffee plate but at most, you know. But, you know, it's really his, his only shot to win this fight. If he doesn't win it in the first couple of rounds, he's not going to win this fight. Um, as, I, as I said, if, it, if the fight goes past three rounds, in my opinion, it, it's all over for him in there. And, you know, not just the fact he'll go on to lose the fight, he'll probably end up getting stopped as well. Um, I don't see Crawford getting the stoppage super early in this fight, though. As I said, you know, he takes a bit of time to get warmed up. You know, Kavalowskis, for as good as that stoppage was in the sixth round of their fight, you know, he's an absolute beast when he gets going. You know, he just marches forward with those constant power hooks of his. And, you know, that's just not Crawford's game. You know, yes, he looked to jump on a, a wounded opponent in there, close the show. In fact, there's pro there probably isn't a better finisher in boxing than Crawford. Um, but he rarely gets reckless in there. And even with that, it's still talking absolutely massive 
right hook to eventually wobble Avenition in that fight against Kavalowskis. And even then, Avenition still wouldn't go down. Um, it took the ref to come in and wave him off. So Avenition, Avenition is one you know incredibly tough customer. I believe he can hang around at least in the second half of this fight. You know, it caused Crawford some problems early, but at some stage, uh, you know, likely just through an accumulation of punishment as well, I believe Crawford will get the stoppage. So I'm going to take Terence Crawford to get the stoppage between around 7 to 12 on Saturday, second half of the fight at plus 110 against David Avenation. As I said, I just see the Avenation getting worn down late in this fight and stopped by Crawford. And if you're interested in Saturday's other fights this weekend, uh, we've wrote three articles over at Wage Talk News that'll be up before the weekend for this Saturday's fights uh, between Teofimo Lopez and Sandal Martin over on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, Josh Warrington's homecoming return over in Leeds as well against Luis Alberto Lopez on the zone. And Michael Collins bout against Kareem Gurfi live over in Belfast and ESPN+. Plus as well, so... You know, hopefully you guys decide to check them out. That'll do it from me anyway. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And you can catch me over on Twitter at the Sportswolf83 and at my handicapper page, Kevin Dolan, over at Wager Talk as well. So, as always, until next time, thanks for listening. Slana